Hi! Very easy and fast scene setup for your jewelry animation. With this setting, you can create quick and easy animated presentations of your jewelry. Everything you need is already set up in the scene. You just need to import the 3D model, apply the materials and start rendering the scene. So let's figure it out in this short video tutorial on how to do it. So, you got the scene, downloaded it to your computer and unpacked it on your disk drive. The scene will contain a 3D model of the ring, just for example. I removed it to show the simple process of importing the ring model into the scene for rendering. Let's take a briefly consider what the scene consists of. There are two pre-configured cameras in the scene. HDRI environment for lighting. And also two additional octane render lights. The scene also contains a null object with preset animation keys that are used to easily and conveniently customize the animation of your jewelry ring. So let's import a 3D model into our scene. I'll take a simple model as an example and import it. You can position the model in the center as you like, place on the ground, or standing upright. In order to rotate uniformly around its axis, it is necessary to position the model in the center, align it in the center of coordinates. All we need to do next, is place our ring model inside our null object. Just drag and drop it inside. That's all, now our model will obey our null object, which means it will be animated. Wow! Great! If the model is not in the center, then it will rotate as if oval. To fix this, you just need to shift its center if necessary. So, I like it. Don't forget to apply materials to your model, they are also set up and in the scene. With a simple drag and drop you can apply materials. The scene has two configured cameras. One is for animations with keys and the other is for static images in case you want to render static images. This tag means that the camera has a focus point attached to this null object. So if you need to change the focus point of the camera, then you can do this by moving this object. With the second camera for static images, everything is easier. It does not have any animation keys or focus points. You can simply switch to it to find the angle that suits you and render without changing the main camera for animation. Just set the appropriate angle on the camera and you're done. In the camera's octane settings, you'll find some post-processing options enabled. These are bloom and glare effects. Here you can adjust the strength of these effects to your liking. Well, that's actually all the main points. Now you need to go to settings and to choose where to save your files. You can render a sequence or immediately output the result to a video file in the most common formats. Like Avi. Done. We can start rendering. Depending on the power of your computer and GPU you will need from several minutes to several hours. Good luck and see you later.